Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aurora Mercury. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading my Linden home. I have been living in the home stilts for some time now and I'll be upgrading to a new home. So I'm gonna be taking you guys with me. So yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so as mentioned, I'm gonna be upgrading my Linden home and I'm taking you guys with me along this journey. But before I go into that, I just wanna send a huge thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support and being part of the Rising Mercury's crew. <laughs> um, for me, I'm just really grateful for that. I just wanna kind of really make a lot of content and just have fun with this. So yeah, really fun to have the love and support that I have been receiving. As mentioned guys, I just want to change my environment right now. I'm currently by the sea, which is really nice and relaxing. I am a goat fish, Capricorn, if y'all don't know. <laughs> so for me right now, I like to be by the sea, but I also want a bit of nature, a bit of greenery. So it'd be really cool if I can land a home that has a mixture of both, that is kind of by some water, some lake, and has like a lot of greenery as well. So we're gonna be checking out the different kind of options that are available within Belisaria Linden Homes and kind of take it from there. I do have my views as well and just still learning about the whole land allowance that we're given as well because you can actually, instead of purchasing or choosing the Linden home, you can actually purchase a plot of land through mainland so that's something that I'm going to be looking into it as well at some point but for now let's focus on the Linden homes and see what's available so Linden Labs Second Life offers a variety of different themes that you can actually live within so you have Belisaria that has more of the modernized up-to-date type of homes you also have Meadowbrook which is the type of home that if you had been in Second Life for 14 years plus you probably, your first home with Second Life in your account will probably be in Meadowbrook. Then you have Tahoe, Taho, I hope I pronounced that right, Taho, um, which is a bit of more country vibe. Then you have Elder Glen, which is that fantasy type of look. And then you also have Soretta Asumai, which is that Asian type of feel. So my understanding is that Belisaria has upgraded these other themes within their community. So as I mentioned, the Meadowbrook, the Tahoe, the Elderglim, the Sarita Asumai, you will see a more of an updated version of those houses within Belisaria. Now, when it comes to looking for houses, what I usually do is I select the community or select the, yes, I select the community that I want to be in. And then I will claim that as my home, TP there, see where it's kind of put me because it is like a randomized type of um, process. So like you randomly land somewhere in the community, a home is available randomly. And I kind of get a feel if, if it gives me the right vibe. If I don't like it, then I abandon it. I abandon the land, I abandon the home, and I kind of start again. I refresh it and I start again. From my understanding, you only have, you can only do this five times in one day. So I remember when <laughs> Belisaria was kicking off and it was starting and everyone was trying to get their home and everyone wanted the traditional homes. Also to mention, Second Life has updated traditional homes as well. So apparently that you can have a more of an open plan type of vibe to it, to the traditional homes. So I will not be surprised if those are just not appearing up on the list at all. Because as you can see, campers, you can't see traditional homes on this list because they're probably going quick at the moment. <laughs> but um, with the selection that we have here, I'm going to be jumping around and seeing what kind of gravitates to me i'm more kind of leaning towards the log homes um, i'm also leaning towards newbrook and probably secura i'm looking for those type of vibes i want that kind of like naturey type of vibe that's what i'm looking for right now so yeah let's have a look and see what we can gravitate to so here you have the log homes um, and as you can see they are very 
nicely made very homely looks very cozy and it's surrounded by loads of greenery so i really like this type of vibe this type of style as well and the fact that you can actually get them in different style houses and different colors as well which is quite cool so yeah i'm really liking the log style houses The next we have is the Newbrook community and this has like a nice kind of vibe to it. The houses are quite clean cut and modernized. Um, also in the communal areas there are swimming pools as well. So I do think it's a really nice community that you can kind of chill in. Um, for me, I'm not too sure if I'm gravitating to it as much. It might be a bit too, I don't know. I think I might need a bit more greenery like a bit like the log houses but yeah I think it could grow in me as well though so the next home is in the Sakura community and these homes are Japanese Asian themed and it is surrounded by greenery and a bit of water this particular house has a river bank running behind it as well which is pretty cool but guys I'm so indecisive I actually ended up abandoning this home as well <laughs> So I need your help. Please comment down below and let me know what home you think I should go for. Based on what I've said that I want a bit of greenery and a bit of water, what do you think I should go for? But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I've got so much more to come. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. But until next time, guys, take care. Bye.